Greetings and welcome to our EdTech Quick Tip for this week. Websites that teachers need to know about. I think that's a new series that I'm going to start up with these Quick Tip videos where I'm going to highlight some different websites that you may or may not be aware of. And this week I've got one, it's called Infogram, and it makes the process of creating graphs, charts, brochures, all of that stuff super easy and best of all, it's free. I'll show you how now. So first of all, in order to get to the website, it's infogram.com and I'll have a link below the video if you want to just click that and it'll take you right over there. So first and foremost, let's get pricing out of the way. If you sign up for the free account, which they state is forever, you're going to have access to 37 different types of templates. You can have up to 10 projects going at one time, five pages per project. I think this is a very fair offering to kind of try out the software and really you can do more than try it out whenever I'm thinking about the number of projects I might have going, 10 projects seems pretty good to me. So it's not going to cost you anything to at least try it out. After you have created an account, the world is going to open up on Infogram and you're going to have access to all of their different kinds of templates. They have things broken down by single chart, single map, infographics, dashboards, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, posters, slides, and reports. I mean, look at all of this fantastic stuff in here. So one of the things that I know that I've asked my students to create in the past are timelines. And I see this nice looking timeline template. That one catches my eye, so I'm gonna click it and kind of show you what happens whenever we have Infogram create the template for us. All right, so now we are in the editor. And so over here on the right hand side, if we don't like that dark scheme, we can scroll on the list and see that there's a lot of different options. Some of them are locked behind that pro pay grade wall, so be aware of that. But any of these, I should be able to just click on them and it totally changes the design and layout of my timeline. Now, anytime that I wanna change anything on this timeline, all of these items are completely editable. So if I wanted to change my year that I'm starting with here, that was a good year. It was the year I was born. If we wanted to change this little graphic here, we click on it over here on the right hand side, we can make it more transparent. Ooh, fun can change the color of it very nice Ooh, we can even add animation oh my gosh that's so fancy you kind of get the idea uh, a lot of the issues that I face with graphic design is just coming up with an idea and whenever I find a website that kind of takes care of that for me I think to myself huh I bet I'm not the only one that struggles with graphic design and maybe there's some teachers out there who would enjoy learning more about that as well and thus, a new series is born, websites that teachers need to know about. And I think Infogram definitely fits that bill. So that'll wrap it up for this week's EdTech Quick Tip video. Hope that you found it useful. I hope that all are well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.